It is Friday. It is definitely Friday. Thankfully. And that looks good why you got that displayed up there. We got those at the district meeting. Um, we went ahead and bought one of every color they had. Well, we actually bought multiples of every color they had. Um, they do come in the blue, red, orange, and green. So I saw last week where somebody said that uh, they were more of a green fan than a blue fan. So right. I am glad that they went ahead <laughs> and did every color. Colors matter, um, don't they? So I'm definitely glad they did every color. I'm also glad that they went ahead instead of just doing the ratchet and the foam cutout, glad they went ahead and put the extensions. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people ask us all the time for something like this right here. So the fact that they, now they, they only had so many of them. Uh, so unfortunately, if everybody didn't make it to the DM meetings, they may not get any because there wasn't a whole lot. But, Is that just the standard extensions or wobble extensions? These are just the regular extensions. Um, which I, I'm kind of glad because not everybody likes the wobble extensions and, and wobble extensions ain't for every application. Right. Um, so to have the standard, you know, if I was a tech starting out, I would really like a kit like this. Yeah. Um, and then uh, also service trucks really like them because they're not just rolling around so they can mm -hmm. just put the foam in there. Makes the toolbox look neat too. So I really like that. Plus I ain't got to have the patience. We talked about that last week also <laughs> to do all that other stuff. So, um, really like those we went ahead and ordered several um i think we did five of each color that way we would have um enough to try to at least help a few people out well they look good uh, and then we also got tire inflators this week we got plenty of them we got them on two different shelves so green and orange green and orange yeah, those are good i cannot stand using a regular air gauge now yeah, um, <clears throat> especially if you have the kind of the little stem pushes out, you know? Yeah. Ah, oh, those suck. You know, the bad thing about it is... Uh, I don't even like using the dial kind anymore. Like, I got a blue point one. Yeah. It's got the dial on it. I always go and get my digital. <laughs> well, and what's crazy is when when technology changes from, like, the little, the little thing that... Uh, the old one that the stick come out, you know, it had different pressures to then the dial one. Everybody thought the dial one, well, now I'm just so lazy. I want that right there. I'm not going to say that anything other but lazy because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to look down immediately and see it in digital form for some reason. I like it better too. I mean, the dial gauges tell you right away what it is. It ain't mm -hmm. like you got to do no math equation on any of them. Uh, but I like those. I do too. I guess one of the key factors that I like them is because I, I can actually air it up a little bit, a little bit, the uh, let a little bit of air out at the same time really nice i know these you can do the same thing mm -hmm. still i like my digital i do too also this week we have blue miniature pry bars did get several of those too mm -hmm. at expo we were asked um if we thought blue would sell and no. it was overwhelmingly no no way. Nobody would buy anything blue. They were doing it on a piece of paper, right, where we were having check marks. I think that was the three. I think that was the three. But by the time we, and we got there at, a, you know, opening that morning, and, and it had already had a full page of paper where they had already went through there. So we put our little check mark on there just for the cause. But they had these at the DM meeting, so we went ahead and snagged several sets up. Matco's doing everything in the world to keep from making blue tools. <laughs> they look really good. Uh, you know, this would have saved me, I don't know how many pocket screwdrivers. Because mm -hmm. um, everybody uses them for baby pry bars. Well, and I don't know what else I would use it or for. Or popping clips loose or it ain't to tighten flathead screws. That's no, for sure. like the, uh, I don't know, do I have a pocket screwdriver up here anyway? I don't know what else I would use it for because what you just mentioned is exactly what I used to do with it. But Popping fuses out, fuses, trim clips, covers off, something. What you've seen a lot of people do, or what I seen a lot of people do, so I started doing it was we would bend this slightly. Mm -hmm. Well, in this set, we have the slot bend, and that's what you would want because that's perfect yep. for clips. Um, 
but you would also need it straight at times. Mm -hmm. So these two knock it out of the park and then we got an extra just in case. This one's kind of a more or less um, angle. So you get to pick which one you want. These really help um, on the interior as well because if you're not careful with a straight one, sometimes it will slip and you yeah, will scratch yeah, something okay. in a hurry. Mm -hmm. um, but little tech tip on the inside too, if for some reason you do uh, on a dash, it does have a little uh, mark that's not just super, super deep. If you will take that rounded point here, which it used to be the same way on these, if you take the rounded point there and just slightly go back and forth over it, it will actually take your gouge out of it. It just kind of pushes it back together. No, it ain't gonna look like factory, right. but it's super, super hard to notice. Um, so if, you know, it, you like still- experience talking there. Yes, uh, you still need to point it out to the customer. I'm not trying to tell anybody to hide their, you know, screw up. But if, I mean, if you're gonna have to point it out anyways, I'd rather say, hey, look, we did something. Here's our fix for it. Right. If you don't like it, we'll replace it. It is what it is yep. at that point. I'm not it telling happens. anybody to lie, but yes, there's a bunch of interior work that. Well, they look good, that's for sure. They definitely look good. I like it, it, that color; just stands out. Yeah, I like them. Got a good clips on them. Yeah, that part number PPB three K. So very nice. Yeah, they they look good. Um, I did, uh, we showed the impact last week. There was something else, but I can't remember. Oh, um, on the toolbox in last week's video, somebody said something about, why don't they just go ahead and make a three drawer uh, instead of having to add a drawer. That one's actually three drawers on top. They just had to add, they wanted to add another one on top. So mm -hmm. they're actually going to four, but. That's a nice, <clears throat> nice setup right there. Yeah, the, uh, you know, we went over several of it last week. Uh, the that only reason that one's what's so yeah. good about them boxes. Yeah, the only reason that one's super high is because the casters um, are more beefier than all the others. So it does make it super high, but it, it is what it really, is. Really, I guess with a hutch, you know, it'd be about right, you know, if you're working on a laptop up there. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what you gotta look at. So, right here is the actual top of the toolbox. Mm -hmm. So, if you was to have the, the actual stainless steel top here, um, where it would normally go, that's the perfect height. Mm -hmm. I'm working on everything at that point. Yep. Um, or like you said, if we put a hutch on it, your, your, your bottom of your hutch is right here, so it's, laptop level everything's mm -hmm. ready to go um because you know bill's box that he had that snap on it was too low well the hutch you kind of kind of had to duck your head under it you know so well and that's like uh, um, i guess it depends on how tall you are which one you need really you know yeah height has definitely got something to do with it but something that i always uh also look into i don't want to walk up to a hutch and it be head level where I'm gonna hit the door mm -hmm. um, if I go to lean in or something like that so uh, but that's all again if I was a little bit shorter I wouldn't do it if I was a little bit taller I would see over it so that's uh, just one of those things also uh, I guess that's what I was gonna talk about was the Ray-Bans um, we actually got some Ray-Bans now um, cool. so that's pretty cool but not only did we order Ray-Bans we actually had a couple of hair Costas that were at the meeting as well so uh, that's a big step. Uh, mm -hmm. When I first come in, I was pretty much told we were never going to have Costa. Oakley only, huh? Yeah, I was pretty much told we was never going to have Costa. Uh, we were going to have a sprinkle of Ray-Bans here or there. Uh, and here we are. We got Ray-Bans and, and we got a few Costas coming out. Our, uh, there might have been more than two pair. There might have been a couple more. I can't remember. Four pair? See? Uh, that's why you have a woman on the that's truck, it. too. They keep up with everything. <laughs> but... Yeah, what? I was trying to think about any other question on the, the last week's video, but I forgot it. I should have wrote them down. But oh, some I remember one of them. They was asking about the wrenches. Uh, they said, "Do all Matco boxing wrenches is it only spline drive?" Well, they're 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 all a little different. I, like, they, I don't know because I don't. 
I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull it up. So, I know I had somebody the other day ask me for six point, and I don't have any six point that I could find. Um, I think we went away from this uh, six point. Because all these are spline dry. Yeah, all those are. Um, I think I, I think pretty much all of them are. I think when they did, they come when they decided to start <clears throat> start going to where they could do multiple fasteners. Uh, the six point six point rounded torque square spline twelve point. Um, that's when they really started going to that design. Uh, I'll do a little bit more digging. I don't want to say well, yeah, definitely all of them are. But from from what I've seen, they're pretty much yeah, they're all spline drive. Um, I know somebody said the other day, you know, well, we don't want to round it. I haven't had any really problems with them rounding it. And one of the reasons why is because they're able to do so many different things. So, but yeah, I'll do a little bit more looking in that and see, uh, see what I can figure out on that. Cool. All right. Well, guys, it's Friday. Thank goodness. Finally. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, take your finger click that button. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.